Hi, I'm Preston DeGuys, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the Networker NWUI, its HTML5 interface, for running a file level recovery from block based backups. This option was introduced in Networker 19.3. I'll be running the recovery from a browser on the client that was backed up. You'll start by logging onto the Networker server using your preferred browser and clicking the Recover option in the left hand pane. Start by choosing the client type, in this case, traditional. You'll get a list of all the clients that you can click through, or just type the client name to jump directly to it. Networker refreshes the backup and clone section with a list of eligible save sets based on the filter time. I've changed the time to the last three days and added the save set name to the view so that I can find my eDrive backup. Once I've selected the backup, I can start by clicking the recovery drop down and choosing the appropriate option. I can browse block based backups for file level recoveries by clicking the mount button. Once the backup has been mounted, I'll click browse to run file selection. In this browser, I can see a view of the file system as of the backup. I've got some product documentation in this backup and I'll select a few PDFs to recover from an Avamar folder and a Networker folder. Now when I've selected all the files I want to recover, I can click save to store the selection and return to the recovery wizard. I'll click next to continue where I can choose my recovery options. I'm going to recover the files to the desktop of the client that I'm on. That way I can easily find them once the recovery is complete. So now I'm browsing the actual client's file system, not the backup. My recovery is pretty much configured now, so I'll click next to continue. Then I can confirm the options in the summary, then start the recovery and switch to the monitoring tab to view the progress of the recovery. When the recovery completes, I'll show you the messages from the recovery, including getting the full message log. Then I'll drop back to the desktop and browse the recovered files. You'll see the files are recovered into a file structure onto the desktop, making it easy for them to be found. And that's the process of doing a file level recovery from a block based backup. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the blog for more details.